What's up guys? Dan with Mark the Pond Guy here, and we're starting a new rec pond. This one's gonna be really cool. Um, it's gonna be a little bit different than normal. So it's gonna be built exactly the same way as we always build ponds, rec ponds, whatever. Filtration, intake, all that's the same. This one is gonna have the option of being heated and chlorinated, or you can turn the heater off and run it natural as well. So here's a little bit of a sketch that I drew, just to get a concept of a 25 by 25 pond. Uh, we actually made it a little bit bigger, but 25 by 25 pond intake bay. We're actually a little bit different than the drawing per usual with the drawing. There's this uh, shallow swim area along this edge now, sand beach up to the patio, wetland filter. This drawing has the waterfalls coming out of the wetland filter. We're actually gonna have this wetland filter part of the pond to make the pond bigger. And then the waterfall on the back of the wetland coming into the wetland. And then intake over here and the pumps will be down below. So let me walk you over there and show you what we got. All right, so this is where we're at. This section right here is the beach. This will be a sand beach. By the way, this is gonna be all white sand, which you'll see in a little bit. Sand beach going into the water. Waterfall is gonna be over there. This will be the whole swim area. This section right over here is gonna be like four to six inch deep water for uh, some Adirondack chairs in the water. And the whole thing will be about six feet deep, six and a half feet deep. So we're gonna work in some uh, concrete, some cool concrete wall retaining blocks uh, mixed in with uh, boulders, some nice big boulders to give it a semi-formal but still natural look. So pumped about this one, it'll be cool. All right, so we just got done measuring the block and our grade and water level and all that. So what we're gonna do now is dig a trench out here for the wall base. We're gonna have a block wall to retain this beach sand and then we'll step up to grade. So we want our, the top of our wall to be the same as the patio. So it all looks nice and even. And we'll run a wall across here, mix some rocks in it to make it look natural and it'll be cool. Diaz. All right, today is day three on this job and we've got deliveries coming. We have 60 tons of gravel over here, which will be used behind the walls to backfill and all kinds of stuff inside you'll see later. We got the liner in yesterday, under the liner, underlayment on top of the liner, just for the best protection. So as soon as rock gets here, we should have 70 tons of rock show up today, another 30 tomorrow. And we should have all of our wall block show up today too. Well, most of it anyway. So what we're working on now, we took the, the main pond liner and stopped it right at this edge just so we didn't waste this. We only have one little, one little section where the beach comes out. So we took a little bit from this corner over here and now we're seaming it onto this corner just to make this corner reach. So just minimize waste of liner and we'll have a few more seams to do. Uh, seam on the intake bay, actually just the intake bay because the pond liner will reach through the wetland filter. So that's what we're working on now. After that, we're waiting on rock, should be here soon and we'll be flying some rock.
So last week we got the beach section uh, set, the stairs going up, up to the, the sand beach area. Uh, we'll set one more big sun tanning rock up there. We got one not nice rock that has a, a dish in it. It'd be nice to lay on. So today we're working on the lower section of this pond. Um, we're getting the base row of rocks in and then we're gonna build a wall on top of that. Just to kind of blend in the, uh, the walls above it and, and give us some vertical height real quick. Um, we're setting the stones to, to support the, um, the big rock we named Rex. Rex is the 9.8 ton rock out there. That's going to be a jump rock, uh, frame rock for the Adirondack beach chair section. And you'll be able to jump off into the six and a half foot section and into the two foot section. So the kids will be having fun with that. So today, hopefully we get the whole bottom of the pond rocked in and maybe some of the base uh, wall set. So we'll be ready to rock and roll again tomorrow. I'm not breathing rock dust anymore. All right, so what is this? Day nine. We're working on one of the main walls here in the pond that's gonna hold up the uh, chair, sand beach seating area, and a little bit of a kid's uh, two foot deep play area with some lights in it. So we almost have that done, and then we're gonna jump over there. Actually, once we do the stairs and stuff, then we'll jump over there and we do a nice big wall on that side, just to give us some more uh, shallow, play area and then from there intake and wetland hopefully i think we can get the pond the main pond section wrapped up this week so we'll see how that goes and on to the next stuff next week different than what we normally do. The whole wetland is going to be about 18 inches, two feet below water level, just so it gives the illusion that the pond is bigger. So now that it's that deep, we can't get, we can't reach down there with the small excavator. We only have a big bucket on the big excavator, so we need to dig the centipede trench and clean everything up. So we're going to pick this machine up and put it in there. What's up guys? All right, we're at day 16 on this project. I was thinking we might be close to done on day 15, but like you might remember from the beginning, the first week kind of went sideways, so we lost a few days there, but we're still okay. We're still good on track. So we have, the pond is filling. The bottom section of the pond is full now. We're just working on getting the waterfall section done so we can continue filling that up. But a lot of the sand is in, the Adirondack chair uh, beach is in, 
the play beach is in. So this thing's looking pretty amazing. Uh, most of the lights are already in. Mark's working on a couple of the other, the last couple lights and the last section of wall. So I think by tomorrow, um, the structure of the pond, waterfall, everything will be complete and we'll be able to jump outside the pond and we'll start working on plumbing, which will let, give us time to let the pond fill up. And yeah, by the end of the week, we'll be up and running. So stay tuned.